Hi everyone! Look at this! <laughs> I'm remembering to make my video. I had to wait until it quieted down over there and then everything, you know, got calmer in the apartment. Um, so yeah. Um, I really wanted to just rant today and I hope you guys don't mind too much because I <sighs> Okay, just, just Look at look at this for a second. Look at that. See that? Um, yeah, it's just completely coming apart. And look at that. I I can stick my finger through from the inside. See this? Look at that. It's ridiculous. How am I supposed to dance with these? Well, actually, I can dance with. Them. So I'm gonna get new ones, and I'm gonna go to the shoe room. And I'm so excited to go to the shoe room because it's like the National Ballet School's store and that's where I'm going to go get go to get my first pair of point shoes uh, and I'm so excited to get new slippers there um, I don't know what they'll look like I don't know what slippers they have I don't know if it's like a really huge selection or a limited selection or whatever but yeah they're so dirty because of the floors and they were pretty dirty before this is them after I washed them so you can only imagine um, but they were pretty dirty before the summer and then with the dancing in the summer and the heat combined with the type of floor we use in the studios it kind of made a big difference um, <laughs> to the state of my ballet slippers clearly I, I'm scared to do a pirouette on this one because I'm worried that it's just gonna go vroom and completely fall apart and then I'll be like, oh, my foot is out of my slipper. <laughs> but, you know, they don't last forever. These are a really good pair. I don't know. I think they're block. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> but... It's a, it's a really good pair, and I like the way they feel. So point soon. Yay. Um, <laughs> and also I've been getting a lot better. I can actually, you know, do proper pirouettes now, and I can start working on doing double pirouettes, because I don't want to go over the time. Um, but I also had a question um, about a video I might make, and I just want to know if you're interested. So I was thinking in maybe doing like a little Mary Poppins question game in a video where I asked questions dressed up as Mary Poppins and you know there would be two questions for each person and the next week I would tell you guys if you got them right or wrong or or you know instead of questions I could just you know talk <laughs> about cool things in Mary Poppins um, you know um, like behind the scenes stuff that <laughs> I know about because I've watched the bonus features not quite as many times as I've watched the movie. That would be a bit hard since I've seen the movie way too many times to count. I'm sure anyone would have lost track because um, I watched it, you know, multiple times pretty much every day when I was younger. It's really my favorite movie. So yeah, what do you guys think? Should I do questions or just facts random facts um you tell me either in the comments because i love comments or in your videos um thank you bye